my birthday! Today is December 6th. It is my birthday. I just woke up so grateful today. Like, uh, grateful for another year. Grateful to be here. I won't get too emotional, but I'm up early. I've been up since five, actually since four. I'm about to do a sunrise shoot. So I'm gonna give you guys the behind the scenes of the shoot. And of course, I'm gonna insert the photos for you guys. But the waves are pretty loud, so I hope you guys can hear me. But yeah. done with the shoe yes we Thanks are to my baby <laughs> we done we did it i just got home from getting my makeup done this is what it looks like i'm about to get dressed so i can show you guys what i'm wearing all right so this is the dress that i'm wearing to dinner tonight i hope you guys can see it i can't really tell because i don't have my glasses on but this dress is from revolve it's from the brand la academy and i like the dress but i wish i went a size down i did get it in a size medium but i really wish i got a small because as you can tell in these areas it's super loose but one thing i love about this dress is the ruching on the side i am big on having ruching on my dresses just because i tend to carry a lot of my weight in the belly area so this is the look with the shoes and all And then this is the bag. The bag is from Express. Like I said, the shoes is from Steve Madden and the dress is from Revolve. My birthday first of all I want to thank everyone who wished me a happy birthday I am so super duper blessed with family and friends in my community who loves and support me and show me so much love so I'm going into year 26 with so much gratitude right now I'm currently on my way to Fort Lauderdale I got a great opportunity to work with Marriott Bonvoy I chose the Dalmar Fort Lauderdale I'm gonna be there for a two night stay I have to create a reel for them some stories as well as a blog post. I didn't get to go on a trip for my birthday this year because next weekend I'll be going to Mexico for a, one of my close friends wedding. And then right after that trip, I'm going to Canada to be with some of my family for Christmas. This little staycation will be kind of like my birthday celebration for myself. Hi. Hello. May I have your name? Maria. Maria, how may I serve you? May I have a spicy chicken sandwich? Meal? Yes. Bev? I'll do a lemonade. Any sauce? Chick-fil-A and Polynesian, please. May I get you anything else? Nope, that'll be all. 968 is your total. It's okay. I'm gonna use Apple Pay. One second. I like your nails. Thank you. 
Very nice. Thank you. We don't want to get you upset. <laughs> All right, you guys. I literally just checked into the hotel and got to my room, and I already started taking some content before I start laying my things out and getting the room messy. I'm kind of getting some B-roll footage of the room and kind of like a little tour. I have an idea of the direction I want to go with the reel that I'm creating. You see me. On the left hand side is the bathroom. It's really nice. It's a double vanity situation and there is a standing shower. It is super duper spacious as you can see. And it is a rainfall type shower. Over here is the little sitting area. The coffee station, I have my purse here. There's a mini fridge. Here you have two chairs. I love these chairs and this side table and then back here we have the bed this is the balcony going onto the balcony it's a little noisy of course and a nice view of the city if you look super duper 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 close you will see the ocean back there. I'm about to unpack and kind of get settled. And then I'm still trying to decide whether I want to outsource getting a videographer to come and help me record the content or if I just want to do it myself and then outsource the editing part. So I really want this to be really nice. So I'm kind of debating what I should do here. I called one of my friends that I trust with my vision and someone who can execute my vision the way I want it. And he's not available, but then again, I did think about it last minute, so it was to be expected. So now I don't want to pay someone to do it and not achieve exactly what I'm looking for. So that's kind of my fear. So, I'm about to make some calls, get settled in a little bit, and decide what I'm gonna do. As in <laughs> so it is a full 24 hours since I last spoke to you guys. It's Thursday, it's currently like 4.30, yeah. 4.30 exactly. A friend of mine came by to celebrate my birthday with me. So we hung out for most of the day and now I'm by myself and it's time to put in some work. Even when I'm creating content for brands, I'm big on making sure the content reflects real life, like my real life versus living for content, if you get what I mean. The message for this campaign is really celebrating my birthday, celebrating another year. So I went to the fresh market across the street and got myself a bottle of Prosecco. I got a mini cake and some candles and a few little macaroons. The Broward Theater is showing Hamilton tonight. Well, they've had it since November all the way till I wanna say the 11th of December. So I'm gonna catch a show tonight. I'm super excited because if you know me, you know how much I love theater and you know how much I love musicals. Like I love musicals and Hamilton is one of my favorite, favorite. So I'm super excited to be taking myself on a solo date to go watch Hamilton. I'm so water all over this camera now. <laughs> Thank you. 
hair is done now it's time to get dressed i'm not gonna lie y'all the outfit is not really my favorite i did pack last minute i literally just threw things in my bag um i didn't even unpack from our basil i literally just threw things in my suitcase so it is what it is i hope you guys can see because the lighting over here is not the best but this is the only full-length mirror they have here the pants are from cost the top is a bodysuit from express and then the blazer is from h&m and these shoes where are they from i don't remember but <laughs> my coach purse and this is the final look This quick staycation relaxation was so needed. It's so loud out here. I hope you guys can hear me. But I'm really excited for the next few weeks. A lot is happening, especially after our basil and being social and being out. I just needed that little break in between. I'm really glad I got this day, this moment to get myself together. I just finished my makeup and kind of packed up a little bit. It is my final day here. I'm getting ready to check out in a few hours. So I am going to be focusing on taking my last bit of content. I've been um, video heavy this whole time, but I need to get some pictures for a blog post that I need to write. The cake that I bought yesterday, I'm gonna put the candles on it and I'm gonna do kind of like some photos on the bed. Um, and then I'm gonna go around the hotel and get some content there as well so my only concern with this cake situation is i didn't get a plate so i don't like how it looks in this little container unless i hold it like this now that i think about it i don't think i can use a photo like this for this campaign because I'm pretty sure having fire on the bed is breaking some type of law, so. So today's Sunday, today's the last day of my birthday festivities. Last night, I actually went to dinner with my friend Sophie. I didn't record anything because one, I was rushing to get ready. <laughs> and then the restaurant we were supposed to go to, it was fully packed and they didn't take reservations on the weekends. So we didn't even end up going to that restaurant. We went somewhere else. Today, we're having a yoga class. So one of my favorite activities to do is yoga. I used to be super consistent with going to yoga classes. I haven't been as consistent lately, but then again, I haven't been to the gym in like forever either. So for my birthday, I wanted to host a private yoga class. I basically paid one of my favorite yoga instructors, Jade. I used to attend her classes all the time and I just love how she teaches. I invited my friends, whoever could make it and whoever really wanted to attend and we're gonna do yoga at the park it is a donation based class so anyone who attends can make a donation 
and the donation money will be going to therapy for black girls because it is an organization that i love and fully support and therapy for black girls I, on their website they have a directory where you can find a therapist a black therapist in your area and it will tell you what insurance they take and everything when i started my therapy journey i want to say back in 2020 that's where i went to find a therapist 